security guard who was shot outside the mansion of the raper, rapper, rapper, I should say, Drake in Toronto. Welcome to the LifeScope channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. It's appreciated as always. Oh, and thank you to all those who have supported the channel. You could have done anything with your money, so I don't take that for granted. The weekend went crazy, so let's go over some things. For me, Kendrick diss tracks went hard. In fact, one track went so hard, they not like us has become a bop anthem and people are going to be bumping it in the summer that track was even played during an NBA game so like I said in a previous video the people let it be known that Kendrick won that rap battle now I enjoyed all four of Kendrick's tracks and had the music up loud in my house Moving past the weekend, some people are trying to tie what happened at Drake's house to the rap beef. Authorities announced on Tuesday that a security guard who was employed by Drake at his Toronto Canada house had been shot when police arrived at the residence on Tuesday at around 2 in the morning local time. They discovered a seriously injured guy who was rushed to the hospital according to Toronto Police Inspector Paul Krauchik, who spoke at a press conference. A shooting has occurred outside the home in rapper Drake, the incident occurring in the wake of Drake's ongoing beef with fellow rapper Kendrick Lamar. CP24's Courtney Heels is on the scene with more. Courtney, we see the police tape behind you. What more can you tell us? Mm -hmm. Good morning, Marcy. I can tell you there is a pretty heavy police presence along this road. This is Park Lane Circle. It's the street that Drake lives on. Uh, this is as close to the scene as we can get. You can see uh, they have a Toronto police van here, a couple of officers blocking the, the road, also yellow police tape here too. Now, Chopper 24, that's our newsroom helicopter, was able to get over Drake's home earlier. And in that video, we saw some yellow police tape in the courtyard of his home. Also some people going in and out of the house. And as you reported that CP24 reporting there is a source confirming there was a shooting outside of his home. Uh, we do not know if Drake was home at the time and this is all happening in the wake of this ongoing feud with another artist Kendrick Lamar. We don't know if there's a connection here just yet. Uh, we are in touch with Toronto Police to see if they can share any more on this investigation. Uh, they are staying pretty tight-lipped but what I can also tell you police are sharing that they are investigating a shooting in this general area uh, where we are. This is the Bridal Path neighborhood. Uh, police say they were called to the Lawrence and Bayview area at about 2 in the morning. That's really close to where we are. Uh, at that time, that was a shooting investigation, and police and paramedics told us uh, a man, an adult, was rushed to hospital with serious injuries, and they were still looking for a suspect scene leaving the area. Now, we've reached out to police to see, okay, is that shooting that was clearly very close to that connected to this one? They're just not saying just yet. We expect an update on this pretty soon, especially given the attention uh, this is getting this morning uh, right now. But the latest on this break news, a shooting outside of Drake's home happened sometime overnight. Uh, we don't have any further details. We don't know if the artist was there, but uh, this is a pretty significant police presence in this neighborhood. Marcia, as I say, this is as close as we can get. I was actually on the other side of the road here uh, and again, entirely blocked off by cruisers and we can not really see from this vantage point, but our chopper overhead was able to show us uh, police in the courtyard of the home and there's some yellow police tape up there too. Okay, you've hit a couple of key points that I wanted to follow up on. So we don't know exactly what mm -hmm. time the shooting occurred, Courtney. No, and, and we're kind of going off of the other update from Toronto Police with that suggestion that they did investigate a shooting overnight at about 2 in the morning in the, the Bayview and Lawrence area. And again, they're not saying, okay, that's close enough to here. This is the same shooting, just not yet. They're they're staying pretty quiet on this one. So we're just waiting to get more information. But we do know this happened at the very least overnight. According to officials, the security guard was shot while performing his duties outside the home's gate. In critical condition, he is still in the hospital. While Krauchik did not address whether Drake was present at the house when the shooting occurred, he did state that the artist's team is in communication 
with the police and is assisting with the inquiry. Journalists questioned uh, Krauchik whether the shooting was related to the recent dispute between Drake and fellow rapper Kendrick Lamar. Krauchik responded that no cause had been identified as of yet. He said that several individuals were engaged and that they drove away from the scene. Detectives are looking over video of the incident. Now, in my opinion, Kendrick doesn't have anything to do with what happened at Drake's home. I don't like how other people are trying to report in a way to where they are asking a question that implies the beef led up to this moment. However, it's been said that it could be possibly someone in his own camp. Beyond hearing Drake's popular songs, I really don't keep up with him enough, so I didn't know that he had so much beef going on with other folks. For instance, after Drake made fun of the weekend's manager, whose house in Los Angeles was shot at last week. So, is this possible retaliation? Well, nothing has been confirmed from authorities yet, but I will say, to me, there are no coincidences. This is tremendous, What's wrong, Christian. They didn't expect this at all. I want you to get in this ring so bad so I can beat your ass down like Kendrick Lamar did to Drake this past weekend. Bad week for Toronto. Authorities stated that on Wednesday, a man was detained for trying to enter the same residence as entertainer Drake. Only a day after a security guard stationed at the artist's Toronto home was wounded. Officers were summoned to the house at around 2 p.m. local time after a person attempted to gain access to the property. Toronto Police Department Public Relations Officer Ashley Visser said in a statement to CNN on Wednesday. So the individual who was at Drake's house today was apprehended in accordance with Ontario's Mental Health Act and taken to obtain medical assistance. In lieu of making an arrest, police officers may, under the Mental Health Act, place someone in custody who they have grounds to think is acting erratically and may be suffering from a mental illness. According to the authorities, there isn't any connection between yesterday's shooting and this occurrence. It was not immediately clear if Drake or anyone else was inside the house on Wednesday when the event occurred. Yeah, I have to agree, it looks like a bad week for Toronto. Now, the beef between Kendrick and Drake has reached an iconic level, whether we want to believe it or not. Let's do a quick rundown. So, we get to chew on some great bars all across the country. People are listening, do they not like us? And are turning up. And there is even the first diss track called BBL Drizzy. This has spanned into a phenomenon all on its own. Weeks ago, a digital content creator who I mentioned in my last video, which will be listed above, created a 70s style funk song called BBL Drizzy. Metro Boomin sampled King Willana's song and didn't tag him, claiming he didn't know, but whatever. It has become an even bigger hit and even has been remixed in different languages. Apparently, Metro Boomin had some gripes with Drake too, so much so that he created the diss track and encouraged people to drop their best verse on it for a free beat along with $10,000 for the winner. The runner-up gets a free beat. Now the next day after this contest, 
was announced, rumors started circulating that Metro Boomin had something to hide himself. Now, I do think it was a good thing to turn the diss track into a contest, but it's almost like these celebrities or hit makers have to walk a fine line before calling each other out because they can get exposed as well. So, it's official that we will be listening to the diss tracks for years to come. Should we thank Meg the Stallion for kicking off rap beef season? Remember, she also said something on her track about etching abs, which folks say was a shot at Drake. Who knows? Side note, her hiss diss that she dropped back in January is in my rotation. Even Tupac skated on the They Not Like Us beat with his infamous hit em up. That thing sounds so good. Definitely a Cali beat. But back to Drake, folks have been saying Kendrick may have damaged Drake's reputation to the point where companies are pulling away from him. We don't know if that has been officially confirmed yet, but if so, getting tagged with the pedophile title will do it. Even on the last diss track Drake put out, he sounded tired and worn out. It's real interesting all of the celebrities and people who are chiming in from different countries on this beef. I don't like how some rappers are trying to condemn the rap battle when they themselves had rap beef. So it was cool back then, but now it's not cool. They act like the fans want something violent or bad to happen because of the very personal words on the track. That's not the case. Two things that can be confirmed is Kendrick won the rap beef and Metro Boomin said that Drake tried to get a cease and desist against the song like that, which Kendrick said in one of his diss tracks. It doesn't seem like he lied about that part. So what else did Kendrick not lie about? Anyway, let me know what you think. Until next time.